Principles of Sports Nutrition. I have engaged with a wide variety of clients worldwide who express enormous variation in body chemistry, origin of descent, body composition, and knowledge, personal knowledge, in health, fitness, and nutrition. On a one-to-one -one basis, my initial goal is to objectively determine for each individual their functional health status, athletic condition, and predetermined genetic disposition. This is achieved through a personal interview, a mandatory fitness assessment, and an eclectic variety of functional health assessments and screening procedures. This is the basis of clinical sports nutrition. Medically speaking, clinical, the actual word clinical, pertains to a clinic or to a bedside. It's founded on actual observation and treatment of patients as distinguished from theoretical or basic science. However, medicine is primarily concerned with curing disease, treating disease, as opposed to enhancing the athletic performance of a healthy individual. When's the last time you went to see your doctor as a healthy, strong, fit person who's not sick, and you went in and you made an appointment and said, let's talk about improving my performance. Even sports medicine falls short in this regard, as very few sports medicine physicians have a strong background in the science of nutrition, especially the kind of nutrition that pertains to consuming whole, clean, real food and the precise use of natural health products. So in the spirit of holistic sports nutrition, we don't refer to our patients as patients, but as clients, as friends, as athletes engaged in the sport of life and like us, they are vulnerable, they have weaknesses and strengths, and the goal between the advisor and the client is to work together to build the fabric of health, to prevent disaster, to prevent injury, to prevent pathology, and to create within our own cell clusters the magnitude of strength and resilience that's necessary to withstand the rigors and trials and strain of training, the kind of training that's going to create and breed excellence in your physical form, as well as keeping that the form is relative to the mind, we want to focus on what enhances our mental acuity, our emotional strength, and our capacity to endure uncertainty. Take a look at any medical dictionary and the first definition of medicine you'll find is listed as a drug. That's right, that's what medicine is. Medicine is a drug meaning that sports nutrition and sports medicine are two entirely different things. The specialty of clinical sports nutrition can be performed in a clinical environment, just like any doctor or health practitioner. You can do the same thing. You can be a top professional. You can work in an office. You can work out of your home. You can co-op an office with a chiropractor or a naturopath or even a medical doctor that's into natural medicine. You can work with a secretary or a host. You can have someone that's answering the phone. But the objective, no matter how you function and maintain your business as a clinical sports nutritionist, as an advisor, is to improve the function, form, and athletic performance of your client with exercise, nutrition, and natural health products, not drugs. That's the difference between you and a conventional physician or a doctor. You don't prescribe drugs, you prescribe natural health products. But beyond that, you work first and foremost on the lifestyle, on the, the genetic knowledge of the individual. You try and find something that's compatible. The training, the exercise, the mode of action, the everything that that individual is about. Because the goal is to inspire the person to take control of their lives and do what they need to do to be well. You know, you can vaccinate an entire generation, 
But in the absence of teaching children about proper nutrition, whole food, real, genetically compatible nutrition, and training and exercise as a therapy, as a necessity to compensate for being inactive, if you sidestep that and ignore that, which our society does, and just focus on driving the needle into the small children, what you're doing is you're participating in a process of insanity. What comes first? The cart or the horse? What comes first? The apple on the tree, the tree or the seed and the soil? That's what we have to focus on. It's all about root cause and understanding what a human being is and what it takes to help an individual function correctly.